The Wright brothers were the first to successfully produce a flying machine in 1903. But while we now have aeroplanes carrying out hundreds of flights a day, a flying car is still an idea that hasn't been fully achieved. A flying car may seem like the stuff of sci-fi movies and every child's fantasy, but it's going to be a reality. So in this video, we are going to discuss top 7 real flying cars that actually fly. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 7. Aeromobile 4.0 Aeromobile 4.0, created by Slovakian company Aeromobile. When in car mode, the wings store neatly along the fuselage and open up when you want to take to the skies. It has what you would consider conventional wheels that are incredibly light and strong enough to handle landings at airports. The interior isn't too dissimilar to cars on the road today, with screens that display road information when in car mode and switch to flight info when you take off. Aeromobile says it should be fully operational by 2020. The Aeromobile 4.0 incorporates an advanced automotive crash structure made of composite materials. It combines the functionality of a car and an aeroplane in a single flexible platform. An integrated carbon cradle in the center holds the power unit and includes an attachment point for the wings made of pre-impregnated composites. Each wing includes a wing folding structure and control surfaces with flower flaps for an optimal flying experience. The automotive configuration has a length of 5.9 meters, a width of 2.2 meters and height of 1.5 meters, while the aircraft platform measures 5.8 meters long, 8.8 meters wide, and 1.4 meters high. Number 6. A lot of Make 3. The Airspeeder Make 3, which is said to be the world's first electric flying racing car, has been revealed. Airspeeder, which is based in England, has also stated that it will be conducting a new global racing series for its flying race cars. This series is scheduled to take place during the second half of this year. This isn't just any flying car, the Alada Mate 3 is a flying race car. The idea behind this car is to kickstart a new sport of full-fledged flying car racing, which sounds incredible. The car is remotely flown in order to keep pilots safe, but the data gathered will give the teams data on the effects of rapid turning, acceleration and deceleration, which will be useful in future. Alada is being funded by Australian and Germany venture capital firms Saltwater Capital and Jellix Ventures, and also by the corporations Equals and DHL. Alada Aeronautics is building its vehicles at its test facility in the Australian city of Adelaide, and its commercial base is in London. Number 5. Palve Liberty Palve Liberty Aerospace Company is nearing completion of their flying car project the Liberty, they are so close in fact that they intend to take pre-orders, also he runs on two engines, each specially designed for use on the road and in the air and can fly up to 180 km per hour. According to their CEO, Robert Dingens, they now need final certifications to make their Liberty market ready, which was remarkable on its own number. 3 DeLorean Der 7, one of the most famous cars in Hollywood, is currently developing flying cars. DeLorean Aerospace is currently run by John DeLorean. He was the man responsible for the iconic DeLorean Goldwing car that got famous in the Back to the Future. It features an electric propulsion and fully autonomous meaning, you will not need a pilot license to fly it, DeLorean Der 7 is expected to build a full-scale prototype in the very near future. The manufacturer says PALV Liberty is able to reach a top speed of 112 miles per hour both on the ground and in the air. In flight, mode fuel consumption is 6.8 gallons per hour with 311 miles flying range, while on the ground fuel efficiency is 31 miles per gallon with a cruising range of 817 miles. Number 4. The Ford Fliver. A combination airplane and motor car is coming. This is what American industrialist and business mogul Henry Ford had said in the 1940s. People indeed chuckled at what appeared to be a ridiculous idea then. But Ford was not one to stop dreaming. In fact, he had already spearheaded one attempt of a flying car in 1926 when he introduced the Ford Fliver to the world. It was a small single-seat plane, about 15 feet, 4.5 meters, long and with a wingspan of about 23 feet, 7 meters. It ran on a three-cylinder, 35-horsepower engine and was supposed to be a flying car for the masses. 
Ford's vision of affordable aviation and to put the common man in the air was dependent on this vehicle. Unfortunately, due to a fatal crash of the Fliver, on February 25, 1928, and the death of its only test pilot, 25-year-old Harry J. Brooks, the dream ended abruptly and the project was eventually discarded. Number 3. Klein Vision Air Future Flying Cars In late October 2020, Klein Vision released a video of its air car taking a maiden flight. It's similar to Aeromolda. The vehicle is a four-wheel car with only two seats, and it does actually fly like an aircraft. There is no instant vertical lift air car needs a runway for takeoff and landing before engaging in flight mode in car, a 1.6-liter .6 six-cylinder engine manufactured by Bummel and weighs 2,400 pounds powers mowed the tail pulls back in to make the vehicle much more compact and easier to drive it. The company claims that it will have a flying range of over 600 miles and be able to reach a top speed of 124 miles per hour in the air. Number 2. Terrafugia TFX Founded in 2006 by a team of MIT graduates, Terrafugia is currently developing two interesting flying car projects. The first is called the Transition which, they believe, will be the world's first practical flying car. The other, sexier, project is the TFX. It is this model that they intend to scale to mass production to revolutionize personal transportation forever. The TFX is being built from the ground up, if you'll excuse the pun, as an all-electric, vertical takeoff and landing, a computer-controlled flying car. Its sleek lines will make it a rival for a high-end sports car of today. Terrafugia achieved widespread publicity after its first aircraft in 2009. The fixed-wing, Terrafugia Transition, is the world's first practical flying car, and the company is now ramping up for production in 2019. The original concept, the TFX, was a hybrid electric tilt propeller flying car. For high-speed forward flight, the TFX would fold back the blades and tuck the wings and propellers into the sides of the fuselage, using a large ducted fan at the rear for thrust. The company noted at the time that Terrafugia's vision for the future is the TFX, a mass-market flying car with the potential to revolutionize the way we all get around. Number 1. Joby Aviation's Air Taxi Joby Aviation had been working on a personal aerial craft for several years before receiving an enormous cash injection from Toyota and Intel. The conditions of the investment were to provide a practical all-electric air taxi of the future. This air taxi is interesting, compared to others, as it is being designed with a seating capacity of up to five. It will be, by virtue, a lot bigger and heavier than its rivals. Prototype plans reveal that it will be a VTOL, but more resembles a traditional airplane, but with multiple propellers. It's worth noting that Joby Aviation's electric-powered EVTOL means no fossil fuels are burned to fly the aircraft. Therefore, the only emissions from the flight itself are from where the electricity is generated. Coupling the recharging with renewable energy could see this as a completely zero emissions flight. Recently, Simple Flying got to test out a virtual reality VR, headset and take Joby's proposed aircraft on a simulated flight. The simulated aircraft was easy to control and put precisely where desired as the onboard computers calculated the control services responses to pilot inputs. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.